You know, I have been around the world. I've been a professional athlete for about 20 years. I've been all over the globe, and this is the place I call home. And I, it's time for me at this point to share what I know, what I love with the rest of the world. Gravel road events can bring together mountain bikers and roadies on the same course and really challenge both groups of people. And I started thinking about what we have here in Idaho. We've got great single track, but we also only have one road that runs through the valley that's pavement and all the rest is gravel. And I've done, I do a lot of my training, my early spring training before the mountain bike trails are open on these gravel roads. You know, I've been talking to Rebecca about this event for a long time, about a year now, because she first thought it up at my Grand Fondo last year and she was asking me questions that I could see the uh, twinkle in her eye and what she, what it meant to her. You know, this race is going to be challenging. Uh, several hundred racers coming here, you know, to experience the Ketchum atmosphere and our friendly, uh, friendly community, and uh, it's just going to be great. From those two events, from Dirty Kanza and Levi's Grand Fondo, I wanted to bring the gravel and, you know, really challenge people on a mountain bike, on a road bike, but I also really wanted to bring the community aspect. Rebecca Rush put this event on to support really, really the, the organizations throughout the world that support bi bicycling. I chose the charities that I'm supporting in Rebecca's Private Idaho, one because I wanted local, national, global. So I wanted to span everything. Local, of course, I helped start the Wood River Bicycle Coalition for the mountain bike trails here. It's, I'm, like it's ingrained in my blood, I'm part of it. So that was a no-brainer. Um, nationally, People for Bikes, um, I've been involved. I went to the National Bike Summit in Washington, D.C. last year and actually rallied in Congress and talked to them about making more bike lanes pedestrians. So that was a no-brainer as well because I have a personal experience with it. And I also have a personal experience with World Bicycle Relief, being a, a SRAM organization and seeing what they do in Africa. So really they all were organizations I was already supporting, so it was a total no-brainer. The beauty of this course, we leave straight from town, right in the town square, in the center, but within a mile we're in very remote Idaho, and so we will leave pavement and get on gravel, we'll climb up to Trail Creek Summit, and then we head over into the Copper Basin, which is just one valley over, but it's so remote. You won't see a house, you won't see, you know, there's no cell phone service. We are in really rural Idaho, and you will, all you'll see is beautiful mountains. I mean, these are some seriously high country uh, gravel roads that have washboards, they have some big uh, chunks of gravel. You know, it varied from smooth road, smooth pavement, to some choppy, loose, nasty dirt. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I crawled into the pain cave. I was thinking to myself today, I'm like, I didn't think I was going to do this kind of stuff anymore. So <laughs> found myself back in an old place I hadn't visited in a while, so that was pretty fun. Everybody who went out there and participated today, pushed themselves, once they recover, they're gonna have a great story to tell about Rebecca's Private Idaho. And then when you return back home, you're so happy to see Mount Baldy. You're so happy to like the gravel to come to pavement. You're like, I'm gonna make it, I'm back in civilization. And then we'll end in a great party. So it's really, that's a unique aspect of this course for sure. I think it's, it's amazing to me that somebody like Rebecca Rush can bring so many people of all calibers of abilities and backgrounds and everything from the first guy doing his first 100 mile or to the pros. It's amazing that she can bring so many great people here and they're still here tonight. It, it really shows how, how small the bicycling community is no matter how large it is. Um, that you can, you can come with some of the best riders in the world and sit and have a PBR with them. So it's a, it's a pretty great event and uh, it, sure is, it sure is great to be a part of it. Rebecca's Private Idaho is an event that you don't want to miss. It's more than just a bike ride, it's a community gathering, it's a gathering of the tribe. When Rebecca puts on an event like this and brings so many people together and we get to share an, such a cool experience and share bike love together, it's fantastic. And this was a total blast uh, from start to finish and it's, you know, it's, a, it's not just the race, it's everything that happens before and after the race. Just spectacular. I thought it was one of the best bike rides I've ever been to. This should be a regular stop on people's calendar. It's a wonderful event that celebrates all the great things about the cycling community. Today was no joke. Rebecca's Private Idaho is the real deal and if somebody wants to come 
have a, an adventure in some amazing, beautiful country, I recommend this event to anybody. If you missed 2013, I'm sorry, because it's, it's great. It's awesome. Um, but this is gonna be an annual event. We're gonna grow every year. We're gonna have wagon days, the rodeo, the horses, the amazing bike race. Um, you need to be here because Idaho is a really special place. And if you haven't been here, you're missing out. So I hope to see you here.